guys, I hope you're having a great day. I wanna welcome you to my home because today we are going to be talking about more paint colors, specifically bare beige paint colors. So beige colors are coming back in style and I'm seeing that more this year than I ever have in the past couple of years. We've been told for the past couple of years that beige is coming back, but I've not really seen it as used as much as I'm starting to see it now. So I thought this is a great time to share with you the top bare beige paint colors and show you some examples. We're gonna break down the color so I can give you a little bit of knowledge about how to pick a color. And then I'll give you examples of each color and where to use it. Okay, so to start this journey, I want to include some white colors that have warm undertones. So these are whites that are creamy or have a beige look to them. And when I say, well, I will dig into the colors and then explain to you what I mean. So the first one I wanna talk about is blank canvas. And I picked this color because it is Bare Paints color of the year this year. So I thought, let's talk about it. It has um, the red, green, and blue numbers on it are, um, are pretty close together, but more heavy on the warm side. So you definitely have a warm undertone white. And um, great places to use this color are on walls, trim, ceilings, furniture, just about everywhere. <laughs> um, and so next, I wanna show you an example of where I used blank canvas in my home. When I did a renovation on a closet right outside of my kitchen, I converted it into a butler's pantry. And on the side walls, I used blank canvas. Now the back wall in this picture where the shelves are, that is gratifying gray, and that's not a beige um, color. So uh, this is a good example of blank canvas. Our next color is Swiss coffee, and Swiss coffee is almost identical to blank canvas. So see what I mean how white this color looks? It reads white with a warm undertone. It is definitely in the white family and it's a beautiful color to use on trim, on walls, ceilings, floors, exterior, <laughs> just about everything. <laughs> and it in a small space, it's a great color because it has a, a light reflective value of 84. So it's a higher number, but it's under 90, which I feel like those whites under 90 are calmer colors. So it's bright but calm all at the same time. And it has a warm undertone because it's high in red and then green and then blue. So definitely on the warmer side for this color. Next on the list is antique white. And antique white has a light reflective value of 73. So as you can tell, it's even calmer than blank canvas and Swiss coffee. The closest example I have in my home to antique white is in my living room. And my living room is Benjamin Moore bone white. I had to think for a minute. Um, so it's very, very similar. And I'm actually sitting in my living room, but this wall behind me is more shaded. So it's gonna look a little bit darker. But, um, but in the video I'm gonna show you, this will give you an idea of what it would look like on your walls. And again, it's a great color for walls, for cabinetry, furniture. Um, you can do it on trim work, but uh, generally if you do it on trim work, you want to have a little, a different color on the walls. Unless you just want a nice beige canvas all the way through your house. Trim, walls, everything, that would give you a nice neutral palette to work with. But if you want your trim to stand out, if you spend a lot of money on your crown mold and your baseboard and your fireplace, then you'll want a bright white on your trim and this color on the wall or vice versa. Okay, next on the list is off-white. 
and off-white has a light reflective value of 76. So it's a little bit brighter than antique white, but it's still a great color. Um, it's also got a nice warm undertone. It's heavier on the reds and the greens, so it has a more warm undertone. Um, at the closest example in my home that I have to this color is in my hallway. And my hallway is Sherwin-Williams Killam Beige. So it's, this is a nice um, white color, off-white, with bare, but Killam Beige is considered more of a beige color with Sherman Williams. So imagine this color a little bit lighter and you've got off-white. So some great places to use off-white are on your walls, your trim, furniture, cabinetry. Um, you can pretty much use it anywhere also. Next on the list is Navajo White. And Navajo White is more yellow, yellowy undertone, more warm undertone. It has a light reflective value of 74, um, and it is a beautiful color for your walls. Um, you can put it on trim, but generally I've never done that. I just do walls, um, cabinetry, uh, furniture. You can do it on furniture and other things. So I would definitely look at Navajo White if you want a whiter beige color. Okay, so next we have another white beige color, and I promise we are going to get to the beige beige colors here soon. So the next one is linen white, and linen white has a light reflective value of 85. So it's, it's kind of getting up there. It's not above 90. Above 90 is really bright. It's in the calmer, bright range. So this one has a more white look to it. Um, it's red is 247, it's green is 237, and it's blue is 216. So it's definitely warmer um, and it has a nice, pleasant undertone. So check out linen white for your walls, your cabinetry, furniture. You can put it on your ceiling if you want a little bit of color on your ceiling. And it looks beautiful with that crown mold, the pop of white crown mold up there. Looks really pretty. Okay, so the next color is Cottage White, and it is also in the white family. It has a light reflective value of 82, and it's another white with a warm undertone. Great places to use this color are walls, um, furniture, <laughs> I had to think for a minute, um, Exterior, I keep forgetting to mention exterior on some of these. This is a nice exterior color. Okay, so the next color is Spanish Sand. It is considered a white color, but we, we're getting really close to the deeper, to the truer beige colors. Now, let me explain. I call this color riding the fence. Like, it's, it's riding the fence in between beige beige and white beige. So this is a great color if you want more color in your space, but you want it to be a whiter beige, but not a white beige. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, it has a light reflective value of 64. So see, when you get that light reflective value low, you're getting more depth to color. This is a nice cozy color for any room in your home, for walls, you can put it on cabinetry and on trim and uh, furniture. Okay, so the next color we're gonna look at is even better beige. Now, we have gotten into a great beige color. And let me tell you about what makes this color really unique. It was the color of the month last November. So you know if Bear chose it as a color of the month, it must be a good color, and um, it's possibly used quite a bit. Colors that are purchased quite a bit are tried and true colors. They're, they're being used over and over by contractors, painters, homeowners, so they tend to be better safe colors. So even better beige is very similar to accessible beige by Sherwin-Williams. Here's a little tidbit about that color. 
That is one of Sherwin Williams' top selling paint colors. So there you go. You know it's gotta be a good color. Now, Even Better Beige is definitely in the neutral color family and great places to use it are on your walls, cabinetry. Um, if you're painting your floors, this is a great color for a floor. This is a great color for exterior and furniture. My next color is Aged Beige and this is also in the neutral color family. So see, we finally got out of white. Our last color and this color are in the neutral color family. So again, this is a warm undertone color. This one has, I, I think this one has a, um, it, it is a very pleasant beige color. It is light reflective value down at 63, and it has more reds and greens in it than it does blue, so that will make it a warm color. Okay, so some great places to use this color are on walls, trim, exterior, furniture, and cabinets, pretty much anywhere. Now, if you use this color or even better beige on your ceiling, just keep in mind that it will make your ceiling seem lower. It will make a room seem warmer. So if you have really, really, really tall ceilings and you're wanting to kind of make that space feel a less open and you want that cozier feeling, then you definitely want to try it on your ceiling, especially if you have a beautiful contrasting trim like a crown mold. Okay, so last is sentimental beige. And sentimental beige is more of a grige color. Grige meaning it's gray and beige put together. So it's a nice in-between color. Um, and I chose this color because it has a light reflective value of 69. So it's a nice warm color that has um, a deeper look to it. It's not dark. It's not dark, dark and it's not white, white. It's like right in between. So it is heavier on the red tones, so it definitely has that warm red undertone to it, um, but very, very slightly. But I definitely wanted to use it because I think it's a great color that will transition us into grige colors, which is what I'm gonna talk about in my video next. So, spoiler alert, that's what we're talking about next. So. Okay, the great places to use this color are on walls, trim, cabinetry, exterior, um, floors, you can paint your floors with it, and furniture. Okay, so what did you think? Did you find the perfect color for your home out of all these beige colors? It, they're beautiful, they're coming back in style, they're gonna make your home feel warm and cozy. It's on those beautiful sunshiny days when the sun streams in, it's just going to feel so comforting. Um, I have always been a lover of beige. So even though the gray tones came sweeping through in the last decade, um, I decided to keep some beige in my house and mix grays and beige colors. So I have grays in some rooms, I have beige in other rooms, and um, I think maybe I need to start incorporating some grige colors like sentimental beige. So we'll see, we'll see what I do this year. But if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments. Um, if you have any of these colors in your home, please share them in the comment and share what room or if you used it on trim, we all love to learn from each other, and I would love to hear where you're using these colors. Again, I thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.